All right, welcome back to Final Fantasy One Abridged. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're gonna go fight all the elemental monster people. Uh, yay, I guess. <laughs> uh, like the first Final Fantasy, do all of our spells stop working? Uh, nope. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was something it was sort of a charge system. <laughs> uh, what what actually winds up happening here is, uh, oh, yeah, we got to go to the water shrine. We drop off two characters. They do their thing off screen. Uh, we go to the next shrine. We drop off two more characters. They do their thing off screen. So basically, someone decided let's send both of our white mages alone to fight a boss together, so that no one else. No, so that no one else benefits from any healing. What the hell are these people thinking? I'm sorry, I hit my, my mic's mute button by accident for a second. Okay, <laughs> I thought that was just a little freak occurrence there. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, is this one of those they have to do it simultaneous kind of things? Um, yeah. I, yeah, it is. But these are the most ridiculous party combinations ever. It, it, it's like, we've got Final Fantasy 1 challenge mode going on here. And then I think, uh, who's going with Amaranth? Is it Freya? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's put our two DPS characters together at a party. And then, <laughs> well, I... Steiner, Steiner and Vivi and, actually make sense, because they've got yeah, that... Yeah, Steiner and Vivi make sense, but then we have Zidane and Keenan. Why Thief and Blue Mage? <laughs> 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 Maybe this is uh, why they didn't let uh, Beatrix be a full party member, because nine people it doesn't divide us well i guess if they were to do a remake of this they could have up to 12 people i guess and then it would be three per team uh that could work if they did uh beatrix uh lonnie um uh, 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 guys help please <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to go with Ico? That probably would have been smarter, but it would have been more annoying. Okay, I'll take Freya. <laughs> Pairing up Stein and Kina seems like a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, I like how um, Zidane's logic is not, Hey, Steiner and Vivi go great together because Steiner has a special ability with Vivi. No, his logic is, Nah, pairing Steiner with Kina would be a bad idea. <laughs> so I'll do it. <laughs> no, you know what it is? Probably everybody probably drew lots to see who got stuck with Steiner. <laughs> yeah, who got the short straw? <laughs> Actually, at this point, Steiner is a really tolerable character, and I don't just mean that in the sense that um, he's not as bad. I mean he's like a really okay guy to be with. I like I like this part because if I remember correctly, okay, you're not there yet. This is the Wind Shrine. Yeah. Uh, when you get to the Earth Shrine. You can see the tremors. You yeah. can feel the tremors. G do you in have air. to go to everything in order, or uh, yeah. what happens yeah, if you, you go do. to stuff out of order? Uh, I don't think it allows you to go inside yet. Yeah. Huh. Or maybe the cutscene changes. Maybe it's dynamic. I like this little piece right there. Yeah. Phoebe <laughs> just goes backwards. Well, I mean, you do have <laughs> to go to the Earth Shrine last, but other than that, like. Um, <laughs> I like that scene. Vivi just hides behind Steiner to to uh, walk in his slipstream. <laughs> so I'm guessing you're gonna want something that makes you start with the 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 boss fight with float if you're fighting the Earth dude. Well, the Earth Shrine is Lich. Yeah. Oh, so it's undead. It doesn't really represent Earth. He's more death than anything else. But uh... hey, uh, six feet under, dead in the ground. That's Earth, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's what you become when you die. Genius. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think Lich does have some Earth Elemental attacks, but he's not really... Well, it, it, technically, this boss is not called Lich. It's just called Earth Guardian. You don't fight the bosses that are named after the Four Fiends until Memoria. No, no, his name Lich. No, the, the version that's called Lich is the one you fight in Memoria. The well, one it's, that the, it's, the same, in... it's the same model, right? Yeah, Just it's the same name. model. Well, actually, no, it's not the same model. The one you fight in Memoria has uh, some different details and animations. It's very strange. Uh, but do you fight all of the, the Earth, the, the, the elemental guardians in the Memoria? 
Or in Memoria, yes. yes. Yeah, Not in here. Memoria, you fight them in Memoria, and the slightly cool, slightly annoying thing is that you encounter them as you progress through Memoria in the form of seemingly random encounters at specific places, which was how you fought the bosses in the final dungeon of Final Fantasy One. Hmm. Yeah, he's right. Okay, yeah, you're 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 all right. It is it's called Earth Guardian. Earth Prime. <laughs> it's just weird because it, it's the same fucking model. <laughs> well, I like, sort of. I love Kita's logic here. I, there's an old saying of uh, among my people, leftovers good. <laughs> and this is how Kina consoles himself for uh, Zidane just taking him as the last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I guess they, they, they knew that Kina was just out of place and just rolled with it. Also, yeah, you don't get to actually navigate any of this stuff. It's a quick time event before quick time events were even cool. I never failed that, so I don't know what happens. You probably <laughs> have to fight a, fight a battle, I would guess, because instant. No, it's like you get crushed. Well, you die. I mean, yeah, but that'd be really cheap and stupid, though, if you just. Die. Well, you probably. Well, if you were playing even vaguely smart, you probably saved before you entered anyway. True, but, like, if you forget, that's really kind of punishing. Man, we almost became a Zidane and Kina sandwich. That's <laughs> disturbing. Hope that's not Ico's plan. I like how this uh, how this is supposed to be water, but since it's PlayStation One graphics, it's actually just blobs of semi-transparent polygons that break apart <laughs> like gelatin. I thought it was ice. <laughs> it looks like ice, but it's water. Uh, so why do we have to do all this shrine stuff uh, again? It'll open the way to Terra. Oh, okay. Yeah. We place the mirrors in the shrines. All right. I like how Freya and, and, and Amarin are just so badass that we don't even get to see them deal with whatever traps they had to deal with. They just talk about how easy it was. Well, they're the most competent members of the team right now. So. I, I like how the Fire Guardian in his dialogue box isn't called Fire Guardian. It's called Fire Guard. <laughs> yeah. Earth, <laughs> Earth Guard. <laughs> hey, it could, be a re it could be a very, very, very subtle reference to Final Fantasy One's NES American translation. <laughs> Her name was Car Carrie. <laughs> Carrie. Carrie. K A R Y. <laughs> That's a fire element, all right. <laughs> what was it supposed uh, to be? Give me uh, a second. I know it's something way more elaborate than fucking Carrie. Well, we're going to see the actual name of all four fiends when we fight them in Memoria. But uh, it was called Carrie because of the character limitations, which, yes. when you think about it, it's kind of a bad pun because Carrie. <laughs> uh, it's um, Ted. It's supposed to be Merilith. I don't know what the that Mer is. the Merilith. Yeah. Yeah. Merilith. I don't get that one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, I don't get all, Carrie either. <laughs> they're all named after mythological creatures, obviously, but Merilith is just lesser known. This one is t is Tiamat. Tiamat. Yep, however you say this that. Is yeah, that's this, a, I say I say Tiamat. That's Babylonian, I think. Uh, yeah. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Uh, now, we get to see all of their uh, boss models here, but we don't get to actually fight them. I guess they I guess they decided, rather than creating four boss monsters and having you fight all four, that it, it, it would be better if the player just had to fight one boss, because let's, let's face it, four boss monsters, one after the other with no save points between them, would, would have been kind of, yeah, a lot of people would well, have hated they, that. Well, if they... True. It also would have been very repetitive to do four dungeons in a row. That's basically the same. Well, idea. yeah. I, I'm. I'm just talking about. We didn't actually go through the dungeons. The dungeon was a cutscene, and then we fought a boss. But they could have easily had us fight all four bosses as all four groups. But they would have. But they would have had to do it without any. Um, anything going on in between. Any now the version. Between, the, yeah. the version of Lich. That we fight in Memoria, the one that's actually called Lich rather than Earth Guardian, it has longer sides on his arms and a more and a more wavy animation to him. So yeah, I think its cape is also slightly more eloquent. No, no, no. Actually, looking back, it's, it's, the cape is exactly the same. Yeah. Also, I I see that you're that you're that you're cheesing this the cheapest possible way, Ryan. What's he doing? I am impressed. He's using magic hammer, which obliterates. Um, large chunks of enemies a, 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 a MP and against certain bosses it's completely broken because you can just wipe out all their MP so and uh, how basically much, render them immobile how much MP does the Earth Guardian have then uh, I'm not really sure but uh, I think the amount of MP that you take from a boss is based on a fraction of their total 
So it always takes the um, same number of magic hammers to completely wipe them out. By the way, if you're thinking that Kina's little tirade about learning how to travel the world and eating stuff is just supposed to be comical dialogue on how Kina's you know eat stuff, no, I think it's a hint. <laughs> you can eat the Earth Guardian. You, you can. Want... Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I never knew that. What do you, you eat the Earth? What do you learn? You learn Earth. You learn Earth Shake. Huh. Yeah. Well, he went down in, like, three attacks anyway. <laughs> I didn't know that, and I'm so totally going to do that next time I play this game. It is the only boss in the game that can be eaten. Hmm. Do they hmm. have, like, special dialogue for it, or...? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I am Terror of the Earth, Guardian of Terra, and you just eat me? <laughs> well, that was underwhelming. <laughs> Yep. Okay, so all of the mirrors have been placed. So now we gotta go find a rat's tail. We don't even get to see the other fights happen. They just walk <laughs> out. <laughs> and then oh, a lot man. of other stuff happened. <laughs> that sure was an epic adventure we had. <laughs> hey, Zidane, do you want to hear about our epic adventures? How we epically <laughs> took down that epic water boss? No, nah, we're just gonna... Available nine ninety nine in DLC. <laughs> nah, we're gonna, have, we're gonna have romance talk between the girls. Oh, okay. They like each other. Sigh. But of course, they're not going to say anything because romance subplots have to be dragged out until the very end of the story. Because oh god, don't even get me started on Final Fantasy VIII. It... Mm. That was okay. Basically, the love story was the main thing that they that they showcased for that game. Like, even the uh, Yoshitaka Amano illustration behind the title logo is is um, is uh, Renoa in Squall's arms from a particular scene later on in the game. Ugh. But you have to care about the characters individually before you care about how they, who they're banging or anything like that. Yeah, <laughs> and here's the thing, okay? You learn basically nothing about Renoa as a person, so it's hard to care about her. You learn slightly more about her as an individual than you do the other characters, but not a whole lot. And Squall is... Squall. <laughs> so... <laughs> uh... Like, Cloud had this thing in Final Fantasy VII where if, whenever you wanted to be a dick in a dialogue choice, the option was always not interested. With Squall, his catchphrase is ellipses, and it's not even just a dialogue choice anymore. He does it a lot as mandatory dialogue as well. So he's actually, like, twice as standoffish as Cloud ever was. Uh, I'm trying to remember, because I haven't played Final Fantasy VII. You... The, the, there's not an awful lot of point between like the because I know that you can have a romance thing and you can either like it's it's impli you're supposed to choose between Tifa and Eris and then like the joke ones were Yuffie and Barrett I think um, like did that do anything like who you ended up going on that date with does that have any impact on anything or or no it was just a flavor text thing that 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 changed depending on who your highest uh, affinity with was. It's sort of like in Final Fantasy X, where toward the end of the game, certain animations will change to, to show a character that has the highest affinity with you doing the thing. Okay. Uh, Tidus is Overdrive. Yeah, uh, Tidus is Overdrive. Yeah. Whoever throws you the Blitz Ball is the one you have the highest affinity for. Okay. Yeah. Also, it, whoever jumps Jacked, off the uh, airship uh, first. <laughs> Wait, Jack can join... Jack... <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Jack can join your party? <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, next part we're actually going to... Uh, go into Terra and do Terra things and find out the truth about Zidane and the world and Garland and all that stuff that really probably should have factored into the final boss but doesn't. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's funny, <laughs> we, we jump into this little this little teleportation tube and that little transition, I was kind of waiting for it to transition into the final scene of Final Fantasy VII where Cloud is fighting Sephiroth and he's <laughs> subconscious. I was like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> uh, Sorry, right. just pass him through. <laughs> <laughs> go in my way. <laughs> No, like, you know, what are you doing? Get out. You know, <laughs> the camera is zooming in, preparing for Cloud's epic Omni Slash, and then suddenly a treasure chest drops in front of Sephiroth, opens up, and blows him away. 
Yeah, no, 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 I don't think uh, Cloud is transitioning into like the inner subconscious, and then he gets to an intersection, and it stops on a red that, light. That, that sounds. And then that sounds. Zidane like... and the others cross by the other road, and Cloud continues on his <laughs> that, way. That sounds like the intro, like a Smash intro thing. Zidane steals the thunder. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be great. <laughs>